Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So currently Microsoft is testing a new Windows 11 start menu with the dev and beta channels as we have been talking about where the start menu as you can see is getting a major overall and I think this should roll out in an up and coming 24H2 release and if we don't see it with 24H2 we should get it with our next annual update 25H2 rolling out in the latter half of this year. Now yesterday we had a closer look at the Windows 11's new start menu category view which will automatically group your apps into categories like productivity, creativity and games. I'll leave that video linked down below in the end screen. And Neowin has recently posted an interesting article which I'll leave linked in the description. What users wanted from the new start menu and what Microsoft actually delivered. And there are 10 main features and this is according to votes, upvotes on the Microsoft Feedback Hub for the start menu. So number one, most users which received 17,000 plus upvotes wanted Microsoft to let users be able to turn off the recommended section in the new start menu. And as we can see you are able now to turn off the recommended section. And this is one I'm very happy to see because that recommended section I never use and it's just got in the way um, in the start menu since the release of Windows 11 for me. So I'm very happy to see this one. This is the most amount of upvotes. Believe it or not, it took four years recommended section to be able to be turned off. Better late than never. The next was number two was more customization options which had 5.4 plus thousand upvotes. And unfortunately, although Microsoft has made one or two tweaks and adjustments, the menu remains quite restricted when it comes to personalization. So if you want to get better customization when it comes to really adjusting and customizing things in the start menu, you're gonna to have to use third-party software, as you may well know. So Microsoft not bending when it comes to full customization of the start menu. And number three, which received 3.8 thousand plus upvotes, allow resizing the start menu. Now this is one that Microsoft sort of delivered because although you cannot resize by clicking on a corner or on the edge of the menu and make it smaller or bigger, the menu is now more adaptive, which means you'll see more content if you have a bigger screen, as I mentioned yesterday, and you'll see less content if you have a smaller screen. So basically it'll adjust automatically depending on the size of your screen. So although it's kind of half delivered, sort of delivered, you don't get full control of what size you actually want the start menu to be. And number four, which received 3.4 thousand plus upvotes, go back to the Windows 10 style start menu. That's not going to happen. So that's a no-no. That is not rolling out. Microsoft's not budging with that one. And number five, which received 1.5 thousand plus upvotes, use grid view for the all apps list. Microsoft has delivered on this. You can now stick to the classic list, switch over to grid view, as you can see, or enjoy a categorized view, like the previous image. So grid view is available now for the all apps list. And then number six, which received 1,000 plus upvotes, display jump lists when right-clicking pinned apps. Now, although this is the case, there are jump lists when right-clicking apps in the new start menu. Apparently, if you turn off the recommended section, which was the most requested feature, as we mentioned at the start of the video, it also turns off jump lists on the start menu and the taskbar for some reason currently. So I hope that is just a bug. And when this does become, and when this does roll out to the stable version, that doesn't happen. But uh, um, there are jump lists when right clicking pinned apps in the start menu. But as mentioned, it needs a bit of fixing at this stage. And then just to mention the seventh most requested feature, 
which received 1,000 plus upvotes, make the start menu open on the all apps list by default. And that is what Microsoft has done. They've delivered on that. You can see all apps are displayed by default. So you don't need to click the all apps like you currently have to um, in the start menu like it currently is in the stable version of Windows 11. The eighth most requested feature, which received 1,000 plus upvotes, just going to mention this, add a full screen start menu. That's not happening. It doesn't seem that Microsoft is going to make that an option. Bring back live tiles, not going to happen, not delivered. 1,000 plus upvotes, that's the ninth most requested feature. And number 10, which received 760 plus upvotes, make the start menu button, follow the system accent color. That's not going to happen. So interesting stuff. Out of the 10 most requested features for the new start menu is a 50-50 split with Microsoft rolling out five of the requested features and not delivering on the other five most requested features. So it's a 50-50 split. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. What would you have liked to have seen with the start menu? And give me your thoughts on the 10 most requested features that users wanted for the start menu. I'd be interested to know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.